Welcome back guys, we are having our new version, version 3.4 for Express Miller Pro. So you will be having this Express Miller Pro zip file, you have to extract it as I already extracted it. Let's continue with that only. Go inside the folder, run our Miller. It will take some time to load up. Just wait for that. Okay, so now we are seeing our mailer. So here, for the first time, we will be doing the setup. For that, we have to click on this setup button, which is here. And after clicking on this, we have to select this file. Right click on it. And we have to run it as administrator. Click on yes and it will install all the required files automatically you don't have to do anything and this is WPS Office for editing your CSV files if you are already having any editor in your PC then you can ignore this or you can install this one and so I already installed it I will be clicking on this cross button so the installation step is completed we can close this and now in our mailer this is the start window here we can log in select SMTP server and all the other details so for example I'm giving you a demo of how to use uh, uh, Gmail API so first we have to log in here so I'm logging in so here we can see we are logged in and we can select SMTP server we have various options Gmail, iCloud, other other SMTP so in other SMTP we can give host and port of that SMTP and we can give the other details we'll show you how we can do that for Gmail API we can select this one and we can select emails per API how many emails we have to send per API so for initial step we will be selecting two file type the attachment type this is uh, so our HTML files will be converted to uh, these formats PDF image image 2.0 image 2.0 is something which is which can't be detected by AI itself so it's it has best inbox rate we have in image PDF ready-made files in case you are already having some file and you have to send that file to everyone so in that case we can use ready-made files and we can choose no attachment if we don't want to send any attachment so in this case I'm uh, selecting this no attachment and here I can give the file name for example I'm giving offer API token generation we can select automatic or manual in automatic mode you don't need to log in each account and approve the token it will automatically log in to each of your Gmail account and will approve the your Gmail API token so and in manual case you can log in by yourself and approve the token so I'm selecting automatic use proxy if you want to use proxy you can click yes and you can give host port username password of your rotating residential proxies so in this demo I'm not using any proxy speed per email uh, we can select up to 30 threads so for first time we have to select one only and uh, pause between send if you want to uh, ensure there sh should be a delay between sending each email you can select the delay itself so here I'm selecting zero okay and now we can also schedule send which is optional if we give a time uh, here and click on schedule send it will wait for that particular time and then only it will send the emails and uh, if we are not using that we can directly click on send button it will start sending and there is another button of test send which will send the emails to our test contacts so I will show you where we have to input our contacts so for that we have to go to content menu so just click on this content window and here we can see we uh, if we click on the refresh button we are having zero contacts zero bodies each everything is zero 
So for add contact details, we can, in this button, if we click, uh, a CSV file will open and we have to input our contact details, um, the recipient address. All the recipient address will be here. Their email address will be here. Um, uh, and these values are optional, first name, last name, address, city. These are for using tags only. So after giving all the details, for example, I'm giving my email address. And similarly, you can add multiple email addresses. And then we can click Save. And this is important. We have to keep the layout as it is. So we have to click Yes. And then we can close this file. And uh, now if we refresh, we can see contacts are three. Similarly, we can add other details like subject and bodies. So here we can add our bodies. Uh, subject first. Hi and our body and this body can support html also so you can you can add here your html content directly so this will behave as inline html file we have to save it click yes and close the file we can refresh we can see we have one subject one body similarly sender account details so in this we have to add our Gmail or any SMTP's account details. So basically this is sender's detail. We have to give our sender ID, password and from name. We can spoof from name also. So here we can add those details. For example, I'm adding some dummy values here. My sender email address. And we can add password for the sender. We can add the from name. Then we can save it. We can add multiple senders also. So if you are using 100 Gmail APIs, then you can add your 100 accounts here and the software will automatically pick each and every account and will shoot emails from that. So just to make it different from the field okay save it click yes close it now we can see we have one email of sender accounts and add html files here we can place all our html files so here i have given a one demo html in case you don't want to use this one you can delete this one and you can add yours you can add multi multiple files and you can add multiple subject bodies everything is supported here and if you want to use ready-made files you can add ready-made files by clicking on this button and add gmail api files by clicking on this you can add gmail api files in this folder so you can place all your gmail api files here so let me add some dummy values so i'm having my gmail account here so i just copy paste here and close this one and here we can see I have total APIs as one HTML as one uh, sender accounts one so everything is there and if we want to use this test send button for that we can add test contact details here so this is similar to contacts but it is for test send button and uh, we have tags tab also so our mailer support these tags each detail is given here like how it behaves each tag and we can use these tags in subject body html and file name itself so here we can just click on the copy button and get the tag so here i'm copying this uh, 11 digit alphanumeric uh, tag this tag will be replaced with 11 digit alphanumeric random value so i can come here i can give the tag in body or in this uh, file name itself so I'm adding this tag in the file name so each file name will be changed here and uh, we have another window which is named as manage inbox we can click on view all emails so first we can refresh and see if there are any emails 
which we have fetched. If there are no emails, we, uh, we can click on the fetch and read emails and it will use all the Gmail APIs and all the received uh, unread emails will be added to this view all emails sheet. So you will be seeing uh, uh, whom it is sent, by whom it is sent, subject, what was its body, at what date, and if you want to reply, you can just specify here yes or no. Yes will send the reply, and if you specify no, and then it will not send the reply. We can add the send reply, uh, send reply subject, reply body, replies from name. So it will be sent with the same API on which it is received. So if I write it here, yes, so all the bodies which is having yes in it will be sending the replies. So I have to save it, click on yes, close it, and then I click on the send reply button and the replies will be sent to all the receivers. And we can refresh here. So this is the functionality and we are having many options such as cryptic Gmail, this is something which we can use. Uh, this doesn't require any API, any SMTP. This just requires Gmail's email address and password, which we can add in this file, sender account details. We will be adding Gmail ID and its normal manual password. And we have to save it. And then we can send the emails directly. And it supports these file options also. And yeah we can add proxies and we can increase speed up to 30 threads so each second will be sending 30 emails per second so this is the functionality we can use iCloud we can use other SMTP here we can provide the SMTP host and port and in the content file which is for sender account details we can add its account details such as email password from name so these things can be added so this is the and basic layout and here we can see the logs this is the logs window so thanks for watching uh, you can watch other videos also and you can take the demo and I will be providing you a demo for one day thank you for watching thanks